I can still remember the smell of my dad's Triumph when he would shut it off. It had that, you know, it had a weird smell. Like it was, you know, it was hot. You could smell it. You know, it was weird. I can every once in a while a bike will come into the shop and I'll smell that smell again. I go, man, it's a it's a weird smell. Meatball, and I, I started off having a motorcycle shop in Huntington Beach maybe 15 years ago. And it started off just being a place to goof around and store my bikes and maybe get a few of the guys' bikes running and get some cheap parts and stuff. And then I got serious for a moment and went and bought a vintage home in Anaheim and uh, just started working out of the back of that. Instead of renting shops all the time, I figured I'd just uh, buy a house that had a place where I could store my stuff and get some work done. That's Gus and Lucky, the no-gooders, the world's largest motorcycle gang. <laughs> it's always good having the no-gooders out here to, to drink beers with, but also to get some work done. For the last couple months, we've been building this 71 Triumph motor, and uh, a lot of guys put a big board kit and pump it up with horsepower and stuff like that. Well, we decided to go a little different route. It's been a long couple of months, and in the morning we're gonna find a couple deserted roads and race around on it, Let's see what she can do.
And we're working on a 1971 Bonneville. World's fastest motorcycle. Were they the fastest in 71? I don't know. And they got the pole position at Daytona in 71. Yeah. With our friend Gene Romero. Gene Romero. 157 miles an hour. That's a good thing. I'm out of terrible beer. Who wants another one? I do. First thing you want to do is get everything good and clean so you can really get a good look at what's going on, what's worn out, what's not. So what we'll do is we'll just tear this bad boy down and and we're going to get it all bathed, tank it all, hot soapy water, get it all tanked, get all the oil out of these pores so it looks real nice and get all the parts cleaned up and so we know what's broken, what's not. Triumph Motorcycle is the best British motorcycle ever made. The 650 motor. Um, went through the least amount of changes over the years, but it's the best motor. It's lightweight and uh, a good horsepower making motor that rotates the right way so it handles well. You know, Triumph Motorcycle was what everybody wanted to have. Go racing with or go to the bar with. It was gr great motorcycle. All the heat and chopsticks. straight chopsticks in the world can't get that gear off. <laughs> so I gotta go get some new chopsticks. And then uh, we'll do it again. We're gonna get it off. We're gonna call it a night. I think I got my first motorcycle.